can expect a lot of you like, thank you again for being here on a Sunday morning, especially after a wonderful dinner in that area. Okay. Uh, since uh, formal communication is like a more theoretical, I wanted to give like a practical approach in producing images from real classroom material. All the images that you're going to see in the presentation have been taken in the classroom. And they are, um, you, you can see like students working in classroom activities on a daily basis or projects in, in like more long term. Okay. Uh, technology has become an important and integral part of the daily life of our students. Among these new technologies, one to one learning clears that gap, facilitating communication and bringing access to foreign content. One to one learning, sometimes known as one to one learning, is a new technology supporting educational approach where each student has his learners, his or her own device, be it a laptop, a cell phone, mobile phone, or even an iPad, as we're going to see. Um, teachers and researchers have been given not just full attention to the impact of these technologies on learning foreign languages. By the way, education, as we know, is considered one of the most important pivotal forces in language learning and teaching education in Spain and the European Union in the recent years. And according to the established national standards that we have, teachers must produce students who are linguistically and culturally free to communicate successfully. And, but however, Research explicitly connecting uh, the use of technologies in the class and the standards is sparse. The objectives proposed have not been clearly connected with the ways mobile devices can help students learn in a second language, and that's why we are here today to see that connection. As research and concluded from our experience at Cyber School in Quintilola, Mobile technologies and in concrete and specifically iPads can be used as a tool which not only supports but also enhances the curriculum of not only a language but any TV class. And most importantly, following the premises of cooperative learning and multiple intelligences. What can I do about the United States teaching with the use of tablets? Both together to just the simple exploitation of technology for its own sake. Uh, community, community skills uh, need to be expanded uh, beyond the walls of the classroom. And uh, they must, they, they must, and it's a should, it's a must, that they expand the students' learning beyond. Today, more than ever, as we know, and as we have been saying these days, uh, humankind is experiencing changes in every area of life. We are living in a pluralistic society, globalization, communication, and iPads are the tools that provide uh, the ideal context for this to take place. More and more teachers are becoming aware of the potential impact these technologies have on learning languages. And I insist, from our experience, we can admit that we can say that, we can affirm that, I think clearly stands out as a dynamic tool, capable of assisting teachers in fostering learning and bringing it to exciting and competitive levels of achievement, anytime and most importantly, anywhere. Uh, so should the other learners be scared to consider that technology could be a substitute for the intuition of teachers we are necessary. And when once integrated, they can definitely become a very useful tool. The shift goes from knowledge for its own sake to giving sense to it. And I decided to quote uh, John Lee here. This is one of my favorite quotations. If we teach students, if we teach today's students as we taught yesterday, we rob them of tomorrow. Do you agree with this? So, how must teach uh, our students reflect our students, how is, uh, must reflect how our students learn? And it must also reflect the world they will emerge into. They have to be ready for the 21st century. And, okay, so, mobile technologies, as I said before, clearly facilitate this shift.
achieve as an effective tool and learning engine. First of all, there is a shift toward, towards the student center, centeredness and active learning. Here you can see students like taking the, the leading role of the activity of the project. This means, however, as mentioned before, that students must take more responsibility in their learning process. Secondly, the incorporation of technological devices is crucial. Research often shows, as I said before, that the use of technologies brings students beyond the walls of the classroom. Boundaries concerning where, when, and with whom are removed. Learning also becomes adaptive. Thus, there is a shift from students learning the same to students learning different things at the same time. Learning environments are both educational. All the activities that are designed and proposed involve some sort of adventure, discovery format. Gamification, as we all know, has proven to be a, a useful tool in the classroom as well. And the way we use it is like hand by hand with more like thinking skills and deeper thinking skills. Students understand and follow the rules and procedures and they show a mutual respect within a collaborative learning environment. I pass one to one in class, bring an increased tendency towards collaboration. But as we have been saying these days here as well, collaboration is not and should not be a 21st century skill. It is a 21st century must and essential. And that is why we should like, uh, like in help our students to be ready for this, to gain these skills. All the above statements uh, also imply performing-based assessment, a shift from assessment based on products towards progress, progress and effort. Another important aspect to consider is that the use of iPads involves a multi-sensory experience. Learning, as we all know, is more effective when it involves a variety of channels and sources. And, as we know, a learning parent chose, you know, um, content use for its own sake uh, has a low retention rate. The final thing, one that correlates to the previous one, is one, the one of authenticity. Here you can see some examples of um, projects, like uh, big projects. The first one is this project, a multinational company invited our students to participate in what is called IoT project, Internet of Things, where they had to design an authentic, a mock-up of what could be an authentic uh, machine, an invention. In fact, in a couple of weeks, um, we're sending that group of students, the winners, to Madrid to hold a big conference with the headquarters in the States. So it's like authentic. They use iPads, mobile devices, and you're going to be using them as well in your presentations. Okay, but we also, we also have to change some challenges. Students are digital natives, and that can scare most of us. They also, this student centeredness can scare some teachers since they are not like the, you know, the, the, the leaders, the ones with the universal truth. In addition, availability of needs and funding problems and issues also need to be addressed. However, as research and conclude from our experience at Salibur School, the following potential roles for technology and more specifically iPad in my level lessons can be outlined. As instructors, iPads help students' proficiency in 21st century skills. As partners, they provide interaction with the students, presenting the whole learning scenario as a more attractive and appealing one. As facilitators, iPads serve uh, as a means of transmission of information and content in a fast and convenient way. However, uh, most of our students are unclear about how to use these technology uh, devices as a tool to foster their own learning process. That's why teachers must integrate into the curriculum into a pedagogical and meaningful way. 
in its preparation, I love preparation, but it's worth it. For anyone involved in the education world, the ability to produce and distribute personalized education materials can be an exciting and personal moment. It can be very much imagine personalized older materials. iPads are the ideal platform. Easy to use, easy to create, ready to use. More than 65,000 educational apps, more than 750,000 items and courses are available, most of them for free. And finally, I just offered one of the, uh, the tools that Max provides you with, is like open to the production of any educational material 21. Here you have some screenshots like of some of the colors of the items that we created for our students. And the platform where you share uh, these items and materials with them is items view. We have created not only items view courses for students, but also for parents, because we consider that it's very important to teach families to uh, so that they like a company and, and that uh, their, their kids in the process as well. And also for teachers, teacher training, as, as we have been saying, is very important as well. Uh, so as I said before, it needs a planning stage uh, because as we know, with any instructional tool, its effectiveness relies in how the tool is actually used. So therefore, a planning stage is totally necessary. After base lessons, I need to break the four language skills. Here, uh, you can see some screenshots as well of some of the activities that you can find in the interactive items. So, since we all should maintain a balance between like, uh, all the, the skills, listening, speaking, reading, and writing, we should take advantage of the multiple uses and the advantages of the, of the, of the mobile devices. A clear advantage of the use of iBooks for educational purposes is that the students will be able to use a variety of authentic material that has been personalized for fun. It turns out as the fastest and most convenient tool to embed opportunities for them. And most importantly, they can use them outside the class. Cooperative learning as well has been described and proven as a successful teaching strategy. An atmosphere of achievement and positive interdependence is created since students not only have an individual accountability but proper responsibility as well by means of simultaneous participation as we all have studied and equal participation opportunities. We can use several uh, types of tools such as students lectures, timers, these lectures to aid us in follow these uh, classroom management dynamics. And although cooperative learning dynamics may require more teacher preparation, the benefits clearly stand out, improving the level of not only academic skills and achievements, but also collaboration skills. And as we know, 21st century skills. Multiple intelligences, important as well. And this theory has grabbed, as we know, the attention of multiple teachers around the world for years. However, to supply with the wide range of resources sometimes turns a difficult task. And here is where mobile devices stand out as a perfect tool to compile in the same place this variety of activities that will address all these different modalities of learners. Now uh, we're going to um, give like some insights and highlights about all the different multiple intelligences and how they relate to students' work. These are real classroom activities that we corrected a couple of weeks ago, so they are absolutely great. Okay, linguistic intelligence for smart students. They are uh, use words effectively. For them, it's a must to, to use to, to deal with the words and it in a very efficient way. These learners often think in words since they have a highly developed auditory skill. 
Digging good for your earning with ratings, playing good word games, making up poetry or stories. Some suggest the art of creative activities that can be easily introduced in the classroom are the following. We can discuss and debate uh, the topic with a partner, record the conclusions that you reach, write a report, letter, or article on the topic using the text editor, pages in this case, write a play on the topic using any of the story generators, comic makers, or public posts. Very attractive and appealing for them, I can say. Looking for mathematical, mathematical students, these students need to learn concepts before being exposed to detail. They learn more easily through reasoning, calculating, solving puzzles and mysteries. Some suggested iPad activities could be, for instance, create an experiment and design an invention related to the topic, report it with your iPad and then share with your classmates. Make a timeline, as you can see on the left, or a sequence of events related to the topic in social studies class here they design these wonderful epic collages. Spatial intelligence are picture smart. This would probably be the easiest. And these students think in terms of physical space. They like castles, maps, drawings. They are easily taught through drawings and images. Here are some activities that we represent the concept with the drawing using the digital board. Create a collage. Illustrate the book, a book using the editing tool. Create a mind map. Organize a trip to a museum, record it with the iPad, and then write a report. Musical intelligence. Uh, these students show, as we all know, a special sensitivity to sounds and, and rhythm. They are easily taught by turning lessons into lyrics. Audio tracks can be easily embedded into articles. Students can also be asked to compose and sing a song using the GarageBand tool for iPads. And then she Body kinesthetic, okay, body smart. These students have a strong sense of body movement and awareness. They do movements, making things, touching, grabbing, and they communicate efficiently through body language. We can ask them to act to dance the topic or of a related topic and record it, create hand, hand gestures, record and then share. Nature smart, these students have a strong sense of nature awareness about the impact that any other topic has on the environment. Here we can see students uh, designing their diary in the greenhouse of the school, so they keep a track and a record on the growing of their plants. And this is uh, on, the right, uh, on, the, on the left, so one of the physical projects, one, one of the bigger projects, okay. Future Plan. Interpersonal intelligence, people smart. People smart students uh, learn through interaction with others. They enjoy cooperative projects. We can ask them to interview students from other countries about the topic we're working with using the video conference. As I said before, next week in Madrid, we're going to have the video conference option. They will all have their iPads ready to, to participate in a real activity in real context. Intrapersonal. Which, like a first type, would be like the most difficult to apply. It's not. You can ask them to uh, design your personal portfolio to get that either the personal introspection and think about all the work that they have done and then um, design their personal portfolio. Okay. And uh, I'm going to find a better way to. To summarize everything, everything uh, through the eyes of one of our students. This is a video uh, created by a sixth grade student, Natalia. And since we have like, students from uh, other schools coming over here, we ask them to record okay, what is your experience with the iPad? What do you do in class with the iPad? Because that's one of the main concerns of families when they bring their kids to our school, but my kid is not, uh, you know, um, on, on, on to iPads or technologies, is she going to be lost? No, she's not. And uh, as you will see, the video is very illustrative. My experience 
with the iPad. We started using the iPad two years ago. And from my perspective, it makes learning easier and makes us familiar with new technologies. We use our iPad in most classes, like English, science, and social studies. And we have many different sources of our iPads to help us with them. Our first source is books. Because we're very technologically advanced, we don't use traditional books. But instead, we use interactive books, which our teachers prepare for us with a little care every term. They are also very easy to learn. We just go to an app called Atomsium, where our teachers put documents. And then we don't know them. This is my favorite part of the science books, without any doubt. It's a clean note where there is a lot of questions, so it's very easy to study. Exams. They are very important, but we do it differently. Exams are usually done on a bit of paper. But to make them easier and less stressful, we do them on a map, on a iPad. In science and English, we use a regular in the south, so I think it's really It's very easy and gives us the app, the answer directly, so we know if we did right or wrong. Activities in class. We have also found a much interesting way to do them. We use many applications in order to do them right. Our science teacher is there, always likes us to organize our ideas. That's why my maths are so important. To do them, we usually use Poplet, an application that's very easy to use and develop. Picola is also very important in science and English classes. What we like about that app is that we can make short summaries and make a document very visual. An app that we really love, which is my personal favorite, is Complex. In this app, we make short comics related to what we're learning in the church. These are some of my comic makers. I also like to do them for fun because they're very interesting and gives us lots of ideas. Another of my favorite ways of doing class activities is by doing cahoots. This app is a lot like chocolate. The teacher puts us questions and we have to answer them. But we love it because we can put funny names and it has a timer so it's more interesting. Now that we are year six, we do a lot of projects. Because we do so many projects, we know a lot of us. We usually use keynote for portfolio. A portfolio is a big keynote that we do at the end of the term to summarize all the units that we learn during the term. iMovie is a popular app that we use to make videos and to edit them. We recently used it in a disco ROT, Internet of Things, project. There are also a lot of apps that help us when talking English. Because I have to admit, it isn't the easiest thing. We have this app called Irregular Verbs, which helps us with the past tense and the verbs, which is very helpful. This is my favorite app called Word Reference. It's a dictionary that translates the English words into Spanish, so it's much easier. So, if you go to yourself, I really love the app. I will love it if we can continue using it because it's a great tool for learning and teaching too. So, um, it's time consuming and that requires a lot of effort on the side of the teachers. But it's worth it. Go for it. If you're thinking about implementing any kind of like mobile device that can be in your classrooms, go for it. Uh, and of course, if you need our help, we are Okay, whenever, just contact us, feel free to contact us, even to visit our school if you, if you wish, and we'll be willing to share our experience with you. As they did with us when we started. <laughs> Thank you. De nuevo la perfección, cinco minutos de margen para preguntas, para cambios, sí. Um, the problem with iPads, is the school the owner, the kids bring it? We started with the ranking model, the first time for a whole year, the different options, and we started the first year uh, with the ranking option. And in the end, it's like, like each family preferred to buy his or her own device. Well, uh, in the 
the list of material and you say you have to buy an iPad or do you say yes, we no we book, have book, like a family training so we give one last month we gave the training session for the next year families so we give like the recommendations like the storage and everything and which one to buy and then we give them as I said some training sessions. We have a training sessions just with families and then with families and students and then with students. Uh, so can do you also have Facebook? Yes. yes. But the, the only issue at the moment is as a, as a guy, because uh, once we started uh, working with iBooks, you can personalize your own materials. It's like the ideal. Well, we have been training off. <laughs> Crecer en confianza.